Hello and welcome back to the Fallen Giant series. We are picking up right where we finished the last episode. We've got Doncaster next and we are hoping to continue our current unbeaten run. Uh, we've, as you can see, three wins, one draw. That does include the League Cup first round against Accrington. But I don't care, I'm counting it. Today we're going to play Donny and Ipswich, who are second and twelfth and we could potentially go into positive points today so let's see if uh, if it's going to be the first time that we can cross that sh threshold I mean if we, with two wins and a draw that's seven points and what plus three goal difference we'd actually be in the playoffs so I'm I'm taking this as we are currently the fourth best team in the league right now. It's just a shame that we started with negative twelve. So it, it's going well. They want us to fight bravely against relegation. Um, and if we carry on with this form, then I can't see why not. That's a bizarre shirt. Right. So who we got? The whole team from the Tramia game is looking fit. There's still a few tired legs because this is the Tuesday night or the Wednesday night Tuesday night yeah after we've just played Tramia I mean right currently we've been playing Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday so August is pretty full and it's continuing right into mid-September it's just a rammed fixture schedule really isn't it uh, we've obviously got the EFL trophy which I'm not really bothered about just, I might just play some fringe players in that game, some fitness. Uh, Madianga is still lacking sharpness and is not tip top, so he can stay on the bench. Oakley both played well in the last game, so he can stay in. Um, Politic is wanted by Solilmos on loan, and Johan Zoom is wanted by Wrexham on loan. Do I really want to be loaning players out when my squad's only this big? Yeah, well, um, we have just had a bit of news about a consortium, so potential takeover, I suppose. We'll, we'll wait and see. I mean, that would probably break, break the realism of this save, because the idea is to see if we can uh, pull Bolton out of the situation that they currently find themselves in, but if they were to get taken over, as we all know in real life, that's not happened, so would kind of break the... Uh, the run of the game, but we shall see what happens. Immediately, Doncaster are playing it around at the back. Ow. That's by my fingers on the desk. Uh, Buckley out wide to Valinden. Can he swing in across? Emmanuel can, though. Donald Murphy's headed it back out. Emmanuel again. Murphy's there. That should have been a tap in. Why does this feel like it's going so slow? Valinden. That's deep. Aiming for Murphy, clearly. Good tackle, that. Nothing wrong with that at all. <sighs> Quiet. Ten minutes. Emmanuel swinging the ball in. There's Buckley, headed just over. Is that more of Ember in background? Yeah, it is. I wonder if the game's aware it's December. Maybe it's because I'm currently still playing the game offline because I still don't have any internet. BT are really winding me up. So I'm actually playing the game offline and then I'm having to trip to my mum's and use their internet to upload. So what I'm trying to do is, uh, you'll probably notice a few videos that like you, you'll have seen the um, Breaking the Mold episode um, on Monday. And I'm wearing the same clothes. And it's basically because I'm trying to upload. I'm trying to record consecutive videos so that when I go down to my mum's I can just upload them and schedule them. Which I know it's a bit of a a pain that I don't get to react to any uh, comments that's left. But I will reply to any comments. So you are technically getting a reaction. Um, 
but at the minute without internet that's the only option I've got they they are currently saying the 19th but they did say the 12th and it's it's on like the fourth time it's been delayed so I am not holding my breath I hope that wasn't a shot they are nervous let's encourage them that just fired up Daryl Murphy and then pissed off to others stop being nervous Substitutions. Dodu's coming on. I don't have a replacement for him yet. Um, this is probably with playing such a small squad. Oakley Booth playing poor. You can come off like Maddie Anger have a run out. It's only, f what, 13 minutes? I'm sure he can manage. Doncaster with standing heavy pressure. We'll start with standing it and let us score. Seems to be a lot happening off a highlight here. Is this going to be a nil nil draw? We're we getting FM'd because if you look at the stats, we should have won this. No. Good save. Save, defending, sorry. Getting goalkeeper credit just because he dived. What the hell's that? Look at the look at the stats. We should have won this. I mean I know Donny a second. So it's a good point. Good save, Alnwick. We are not going into positive points today. We can go down to... In fact, no, we can't, because we can only get four if we draw this. No, clear it! <laughs> oh, the beauty of League One football. As a Bouncy fan, I have seen more than my fair share of League One football. Well, it can get very uh, scrappy at times. A nil nil draw against second in league, it's not too bad. So we've got Ipswich on Saturday, they are now 14th. They've lost to AFC Wimbledon. So we would have 8 points. Still be in playoffs. Be 6th. Bolton missed chance to win, yes we knew, but never mind. We'll move on to the Ipswich game. And, er. Uh, the unbeaten run's still there. Right then, let's see if we can continue this unbeaten run. I've been having a nosy at the fixtures and I'm thinking, although I would like a cup run, maybe not show the second round of the cup on camera. We did show the Accrington game, but obviously if I'm showing every single, I've shown every single game so far and if I keep doing that, it's, we're going to be at like 100 episodes before we finish this season, so... Uh, I'm going to skip the cup unless we get someone, well, if we get through, get someone like, like a big team and maybe show that. Uh, I'm going to show, obviously, quite a lot of League One games because we need to pick that up. I'm not going to show the AFL trophy, probably not going to show the first round of the FA Cup because, again, it's just going to drag on unless we get a good, a good team later on. Um, then I'll show that. But we need to start getting through our League One season and seeing if we can stay up. Uh, I've, it's only been a couple of days since the Doncaster game so I may end up doing some um, squad rotation. Maybe got some tired players. Donny have just lost a link in it 95th minute. That's also an interesting kit. What's going on in the League One with these really odd kits? 90%ers. Uh, I, I usually only rest people if they're in the 70s so I mean that's it's good for me. Consistency in team. We've got some good performers. Chris O'Grady. Daryl Murphy's not scored for a couple of games. I'm going to give Chris O'Grady a start. Balls to it. ex Barnsley player. Bit of hidden favouritism there. Pitcher's looking nice. And immediately he switch on the attack. And I'm not sure. I think they just headed that off our line. Not sh I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think that Ipswich striker just edged the ball off an hour line. Which, if he did, thanks, appreciate it. I'll take all the help we can get. That's a good save from Onwick, and immediately cleared. We are yet to have a shot. We are at home. Hello. This is worrying. 
Hello? Bolt? Okay. Well, Lyndon completely missed that header. He's taking him on that. Ooh, little bit of skill there. Not tasty. And that's a poor pass from Oakley Booth. Play point last game, I ended up taking him off. Oh dear. That's 1 0 to Ipswich. To be fair, that's been coming looking at the stats. We still haven't had a shot. Josh Emmanuel's taking a knock by the looks of things. They keep getting goal kicks, so something must be happening. Ooh, good tackle for Linden. Go on, boy. Go on. Oh, poor finish. Poor finish. We've had a shot, though, now. Woohoo! Uh, it's half time. That's been a pretty poor first half. It was disappointing, yes. Ah oh dear, that's a poor header. Connolly's through. Good save on Wick. Easy save really, but we'll take them all. Tackling. Oh, loose ball. Murphy's capitalising. Valinden's on the run. There's no one in the box. Chris O'Grady, what are you doing? My team are playing poorly. I am going to demand more. Don't let him score again. At 1-0 we've got a chance. At 2-0. I wouldn't say so. We're not playing well enough. We'll be lucky to get one goal. They've immediately gone from focused to nervous. Just don't get it. The Linden's coming off. Dodu can come on. Josh Emmanuel. I can't. I, ain't got to I need to get a right back. I need to have a look at that. Oh, great, he's done sod all. Clear it. Clear it better. I just headed it down for him to volley it back. Come on. Uh, I don't have any subs. Jason look and come on. Come on. Well, that's it. <laughs> We've lost the first match of the season not the first match, our first match of the season, and it was disappointing. It was a very poor game. It's not too bad though. We're on minus Oh well, these teams down here have picked up some points. That's just extended the gap. Because they were on zero. They've drawn two games. They've won a match. Not good. Not good at all. I think they've drawn them both nil-nil though. Oh, one all. Yeah, that's uh, not a good run of form. So now it's six points again. And they've got a game in hand. So it's essentially seven points. Because I'm looking at these guys here. Oh dear. Suffers defeat. He did, and he was poor, to be fair. Do I have another right back? <laughs> I genuinely don't. If he gets injured, I've got problems. How do I not have another right back? What have I got in under 23s? Adam Senior. I'm sure you're a brilliant player, but. You're not looking it at the moment. Do anybody in the round of 18 that looks better than that? Nathan Wally. Looks on a par, to be fair. Oh dear. There's a distinct lack of right backs at this club. Is the transfer window still open? I forget when it shuts in League One. Transfer window. Transfer window, 2nd of September. Oh, that's registration. Yeah, 2nd of September, transfer window. Right, so between videos, I'm going to see if I can bring myself in a right back. I think I were looking at Lewis Buxton and um, he wanted too much money.
Uh, that's a spoiler. That's the guy that's coming in in January as a striker. Um, yeah, I was I was looking at Lewis Buxton, but he wanted too much, and obviously, as you can see, my wage budget is very very tight. So what it might have to be is a loan. Right back, am I playing what? Just normal wing backs. Dun, 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 dun. There's options. Ash Baker's wanted by Cheltenham and Colchester. They're in our league, aren't they? Well, they must be League 2 now. Yeah. I swear Colchester used to be a League 1 team. Christian Oxlade Chamberlain. Yes, I'm not going to loan someone from the, the National League, am I? Dylan Crowe's in League 1. I can't see. If he's not good enough to get into Ipswich's team, he's not good enough to get into mine. Is the way I look at it. So, potentially Jamie Sterry. We'll have a look at him. Um, Ash Baker. We'll have a look at him, even though he's wanted to buy... Oh, I'm already scouting him, apparently. Yeah, even though he's wanted to buy League 2 teams. Let's uh, see what my scouts say. D'Amico... Ooh, he looks good. He's wanted by... Cheltenham, Colchester and Swindon has been a loan bid from Colchester so oh, I'm scouting him as well <laughs> you can see I've already been looking for right backs um, and Marcel oh no he's not even worth a scout he looks poor because obviously wages is going to be an issue so there's no point looking at freebies so we'll just have to loan someone Right, so I'll do that between videos. Like I say, I'm going to skip the first round of the League Cup. Uh, we'll come back for Rotherham, I think. Because Gillingham are up there. But we'll come back for Rotherham, because obviously they're the team that's directly above us. And um, we'll play Rotherham and one of these other teams. Sunderland, a fifth. Oxford are uh, 14th and Portsmouth are 16th. I'll make my mind up on the second team once we get, um, get down there. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for some more FM20 content. And I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>